Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and we've got another really interesting knife. Uh, this is the Knuske YS Guto 210mm knife. So the construction on these, they've got a, a soft stainless cladding on either side which does wrap over the top of the spine of the hard core center cutting steel which is a semi-stainless proprietary steel. Uh, they take the heat treat to about 63 to 64 Rockwell, so it's got a pretty high hardness, which means you'll get some increased edge retention at a little bit of an expense of forgiveness, so this will take some technique because it is quite thin at the edge and thin at the tip. Uh, the construction of these will lend itself to slight variations in weight and dimensions on you know, each sample each from knife to knife. This particular one is 148 grams or about 5.2 ounces. The Edge length is 214 on the edge, or about 8.5 inches, and the overall length is about 370 millimeters, or 14.4 inches with the handle. The spine thickness, uh, this one's pretty thick coming out of the handle. I measured about 4 millimeters above the back of the chin here, the heel here, but it goes down to about 2.1 halfway down, and what we have is a good example of a distal taper, which is a gradual thinning of the spine as we get down towards the tip and you can see these have a very generous grind that thins out really well at that tip and that tip is super thin and man does it fly through stuff you can say the same thing for the overall blade it's very thin at the edge you've got a very generous grind with beautiful grinds very smooth no hiccups dips bumps or anything all when you sight down the blade and this thing just flies through product, so it really does act like a, a total laser flying through product, heel area, midsection, tip. It just blows through stuff. It doesn't wedge. Um, you get a little bit of product sticking just because the grind is so tall on it, but um, it, if you do your part, it does tend to food release pretty well, um, and stuff will just kind of stay in line if you, if you keep it straight and cut your part. But... Uh, this knife has been just, I've been playing with this one, it's been an absolute pleasure to use. The uh, blade height is 46.75 on this one, that'll vary a little bit, but you got lots of room for your pinch grip there for the cutting board. Clearance, the handles are really well done, octagonal key handle. This one has a wood called Enju and another one called Maguro. Uh, they fit and finish these extremely well. You can see they've got a rounded butt end on it. And they tend to be a little thinner width-wise and a little taller height-wise. Uh, but beautiful fit and finish, really nice installs, crisp facets, uh, just well done, well executed. Uh, let's see, circumference on the handle, I got about 70 millimeters where the two materials meet. Balance point, handles are not the lightest handles in the world. So the balance point is about right there on this one, which is pretty close, maybe just a touch behind my pinch grip. So it's pretty neutral, maybe slightly handle bias on the balance. Let's get a kind of our beauty shot here. These are just really well crafted. You've got hand chiseled kanji, which is a little hard to tell based on the hammering pattern, but it's it's in there. So you've got some engraved kanji on that side. Here's your kind of random imprint hammered pattern. You've got kind of a kuduchi blacksmith finish on it. And again, you can see the generous grind. The spine has been rounded and polished a bit, and so has the choil. The choil, they did a real nice job smoothing that out, taking a little bit off the edges, and it's very, very comfortable right out of the box. I'll give this a 7 out of 10. It was very sharp on my edge scale out of the box. Nicely crafted edge bevel with a bit of polish to it. Very, very sharp. So uh, let's look at the cutting board profile, the edge profile. And this has been similar to the uh, SKD knives from them. This is, or SLD, excuse me. So let's look at the heel part. It flows into a stop, but you've got a good half the blade. Where you've got a nice flat area, and then it flows nicely into a bit of belly towards the tip. So I can still get pretty high on this for rocking but I will flow into a, a pretty good stop at the back. It just kind of flows into that and then stops. So it's a very well-crafted edge profile. It's smooth. 
it flows nicely from the tip down to the back but there is a stop at the back so this knife will chop beautifully towards the back you get that middle section towards the front third and then you get some belly towards the tip for other techniques and, and rocking and so on so it's a really nice edge profile so just a beautifully crafted blade the performance is great they look nice uh, the steel should have uh, nice edge retention with that high hardness and just a cool package so this is the Kanosuke YS Guto 210 millimeter knife.